Wow, I bet you can't believe it. You're studying verb tenses. What a great day for everyone involved, including me. So let's cut to it, shall we? There are three things you need to make sure are good to go if the verb in your sentence is underlined. First, you have to match the number. Jack skates. Jack is singular, so we use skates. If it's plural, Jack and Rob skate, or they skate. The second thing is match the when. If you see a clue in the sentence on when it's happening, the verb tense needs to match it. So if you see yesterday, skated. Tomorrow, will skate. You got to match up the when. The third thing you need to match is other verbs in the sentence. Jack and Rob are skating, eating, and talking. You wouldn't necessarily say Jack and Rob are skating, eating, and talk. I mean, you could say that, but I mean, that just wouldn't reflect good on, on your character. People would think People think it's less of you, probably. Um, but they wouldn't say it to your face, of course. Um, so just make sure that all of the verbs in the sentence kind of go together, especially if you see two others that are of the same verb tense. So you could say Jack and Rob skate, eat, and talk. Or you could say Jack and Rob have skated, have ate, and have talked. So make sure you match these three things if you see the verb underline, that you match the number of the noun, you match the when it happened for the verb tense, and you match the verb tense of the other verbs around it. All right, go forth.